Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at some comments from some very dedicated followers that love to tell me that they disagree with me. Every chance they get, you might call these haters, but we'll just call them disagreeable followers. Dedicated ones, loyal ones at that. Um, but anyways, this is a little video that I like to do, which is called monetizing the haters. You know, I have a laugh, they get dunked on, I get paid. It's a win-win for everyone. So before you say these people are living rent-free in your head, no, I just kind of collect them as time goes on whenever I read really mean ones. All right, so our first comment comes from this dude named Nagy Zoli. I don't know. This guy, he says, uh, Josh, at the end of the day, he is right. The guy he's talking about is the person from Snowflake Company, the company that calls their workers snowflakes and they're completely out of touch. But anyways, it says, a company is similar to the military. I'm going to have to disagree there. Military, you know, you're fighting for your country. They're actually your brothers and sisters, a private corporation, completely different. Anyways, he says, people above you order something, you execute it. It does not matter if you agree or not with the given command. Again, this is very, very different in the corporate world versus the military. You disagree with your superior and refuse to execute, you don't get paid. You get court-martialed. If you do that at a, at a company, then they just fire you. Okay? Or, you know, you could both talk about the task, does the task make sense, etc. Anyways, I said, bro, this is like one of the dumbest things I've read. Because most of the time, he, just, he disagrees with me, and I just ignore it, and I let it go. And he says, Josh, you are being paid to do what the other guy wants, is it not? Where am I being wrong? If I want a green button on the left corner of the pink page, I hire you to do it. I won't be paying you to make a red button to place it on a green page or any other variation. I want specifically the way I asked you to do it. And I said, let's talk about why you want it green and why does that make sense? You hired me for my expertise, right? My value, yeah? If you don't wanna hear what I have to say, then why, why did you hire me? Anyways, even another dude chimed in, Gregory, He's he's been here forever, so shout out to Gregory. Uh, he says, bro, are you serious? He goes, Joshua, almost never it's your call why something is needed. You as a developer do not decide the business logic. It could totally not make any sense. You are still expected to do it. No, that's not how this works. You can't just get ordered around and then you ask questions. It doesn't matter because you just accept the orders. This is how really, really bad things happen when people just go, I was just following orders. You know, you're not supposed to question anything. There's this other guy who likes to follow the channel, who likes to check in every now and then. He says, so you're basically a dude who doesn't want to work but make YouTube videos on some known banalities to get likes and appreciation and sell questionable courses instead. What a surprise. He goes, now you're talking about yourself? That's even worse, that banal job advice from a green dropout engineer. What is a green dropout engineer? And I'm not a dropout. I actually have a mechanical engineering degree. Anyways, he goes, who doesn't like to work and prefers talking instead? What a douche. I don't know, what, what do radio hosts do all day for work? What do journalists do for work? Another one, I'm wondering how long are you going to grift off this topic for, you grifter? And then he goes, how long are you going to grift off this topic, all you life? And I said, no, nah, I'll be retired soon. He goes, Josh, good riddance then, your type won't be missed, but I doubt you will give up the grift though. Selling courses to others on how to land a software job from someone who barely spent any time in the industry. See, I don't sell any courses on how to land any software jobs. There is one, uh, about you know interviewing and stuff but it's not specific to software i'm not teaching anyone how to code in any of the courses looks like having ptsd from working you know i don't like to say that i, I would have that but those jobs were pretty miserable sometimes my videos just make people irrationally upset and i'm not really sure why like this guy bob o'toole dude i'm trying to be a web developer and you come across as the biggest pussy your whole aura is intimidation and hate. People like you kill dreams, F off. I'm restarting my life to get closer to my dreams. Sincerely, a 30-year-old ex-heroin addict web developer who is way too tired of your sob story, bro. Man up. Here's another one from today. Dude, give it up. Leave your house every once in a while. And I just put, got him. And then HR lady actually chimed in here and she responded to this and she said, we leave our house whenever we want, not when our boss allows us to. <laughs> so Nick's randomness, uh, get wrecked. Here's another comment from someone who's irrationally upset, I think. Man, you ever gonna post some shit none negative and not about a, a company that you probably just mad about not getting hired at? The companies that I put in the videos, I don't want anyone to get hired at because they're not treated right. The whole purpose of the channel is to showcase jobs that look good but aren't good or how to read between the lines. It's sad. No one wants to hang out with someone who does nothing but complain about something that doesn't even involve you like ever. But it, it did. It did, and that's, you know, that's why I make these videos, because I 
have dealt with every single bit of corporate cringe that you've ever seen on this channel from getting let go to getting acquired to doing the actual spaghetti and marshmallow build a tower team building thing i was rewarded with cookies like nerf guns all the things like i've experienced everything that i've complained about that made absolutely zero sense but you were punished if you ever spoke up or you were you know kind of banished here's another one from the snowflake company fails big at trying to lure workers back to the office arcanic says you're so toxic so hard to watch your videos without cringe here's another one i left a toxic workplace and doubled my take-home salary thanks to your videos thanks for saying the silent part out loud for everyone you're welcome Otto. you know there are actually mostly positive comments that i see these days which it's kind of nice to see I, I i don't really see much hate anymore so shout out to all the people who do support me here's another one josh your viewpoints are too heavily biased yes in one breath you read i love how my manager bakes me things and you say why you don't get time off or a pay raise in the very next sentence you read i love how my manager sends me home to go to rest when i'm having a down day but you gloss over that pretty quickly instead of giving that manager credit credit for what if, if you feel sick go home why do i have to give the manager credit and where's the accountability for the employee i love how my manager sends me home send yourself home he goes on to say, you can't seem to fathom the idea that there may be one company or manager out there in the entire world that isn't solely interested in making their underlings suffer. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but you won't see them on this channel because the ones I show on this channel definitely aren't these. But that's cool. Like, if, if you have a good manager and they're not out to make you suffer, I mean, that's cool. Congratulations. But again, they're not the ones posting these super cringe LinkedIn videos and YouTube videos about how they're different when they're exactly the same as everyone else. Anyways, he says some people might truly value appreciation more than money because it affects their confidence or general happiness. You know what affects your general happiness? Having enough money to pay your bills. Sam says, God, do any winners consume this horribly bitter content? How is this recommended to me? You're like the leader of the island of misfit toys. Well, I'm actually now recruiting for the misfit uh, toys cult so if you guys are interested uh, i'll put a link down in the description where you can apply to be on the island that's kind of like survivor though it's gonna be fun here's one from someone who got overly upset because i said ceos are greedy so why is it greedy if you want more money as a worker and so something in there made this lady lose her mind and sturzinger says okay i guess you've never heard of logical fallacies but what about him isn't an argument i mean it forces you to look at what's fair and what makes sense so i think it's that's kind of a fair argument, but not, not a logical fallacy. I'm an American living in California and six figures will do you just fine here as long as you don't feel horribly oppressed if you can't have all the motorcycle toys you want. Yeah, but I'd like to have all the motorcycle toys I want. Usually I'm with you, but for real. I take it you've never missed a meal in your entire life. Oh man, I wish that was true, but back in the days when I was married, she just left the apartment for like six months, eating ketchup, toothpaste is great. I've, been, I've missed a few meals in my day. But before the internet, young people had to work jobs, bad ones, for very small amounts of money, as in barely enough to pay the rent and eat, period, until we earned our stripe. And there is no earning your stripes anymore. There's, cause there's no way to do it and they don't have to do it. They can say they're gonna do it and then they don't do it and there's nothing you can do. We had to work crappy paying jobs. We had to earn our money. You're just a complainer. So because it was crappy for you back then, you want it to stay crappy for people going forward. This is such a silly argument. So yeah, greedy CEOs suck, but that doesn't mean they're the only whiny assholes on the planet. Gross. All, all of this comment, this whole entire nonsense is just because I said CEOs want to make the most amount of, of money possible. Why don't you as the worker? And that generated this. YouTube is weird. Anyways, guys, that's all I have. I hope you guys found this somewhat entertaining. I get a lot of weird comments from, from things I would never expect to, to get these comments from, but... If you enjoyed it, click thumbs up, click subscribe if you want to see more uh, corporate nonsense being called out. Anyways, if you'd like to support the channel, there's some links down in the description. You can check those out if you want. See you guys in the next one.